I think it's going to come back to a 3% growth rate, which really? is not exactly a mojo. I mean, That's it, pretty good, though. No, it's, and it's not for... Good, gro solid growth. For second half. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, it's kind of not great by historical standards, but it comes from the consumer. Yeah. Because the purchasing power is there. The job market is creating the purchasing power. Um, and that's probably going to go on. The negative side of all that is it's um, two negative sides, which could make me wrong. Um, one is, of course, that uh, it's coming, the, the job market is strong because productivity is terrible. Mm -hmm. Therefore, profits are getting squeezed. Right. And as profits get squeezed, it's getting transferred to wages. Right. But of course, the firms aren't spending on investment. Mm -hmm. And if you're a historical determinist, you look at when spending on uh, gross fixed capital formation by companies is weak, normally it precedes a recession. So that's where the counter arguments would come in. It's not a very balanced recovery, right. but it's enough of a recovery to make the Fed tighten. And these jobs that are being created, I mean, with all due respect uh, to the president, it's nice to see you know, hundreds of thousands of jobs created, but they're, they're, not, really the greatest, they're not the greatest jobs in the no, world, no, 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 though. No. <clears throat> Which is one of the great um, contradictions, because we live in an era, an era of apps and technology. We, you've just been talking about them on air. Yeah. Uh, and at the same time, the jobs being created are actually very low value added jobs. Mm. I mean, jobs like yours job, my job. Have yeah, been created. Exactly. Not so, up there. Yeah. It, we're not curing cancer. Exactly. No, we're not. So, I mean, uh, that's a very difficult one to put together. What is causing the enormous um, gains, I would say, in both well being and productivity that are potentially there from either robotics or artificial intelligence mm -hmm. or apps? Mm -hmm. And at the same time, why is the economy sucking in really um, enormous amounts of labor with very little gain in output? Mm -hmm. well, those two things are one of the, that's a great historical question, which um, is hard to answer. Yeah. You know, you bring up the issue of uh, no productivity or lack of productivity. Right. That's why we've got the corporate uh, profit squeeze there. But then you mention robotics, automation, <laughs> apps, that sort of thing in the, same, you know, in, in the same conversation there. I mean, that seems to be at odds. That's what's supposed to increase yeah. personal productivity. Yeah. But yeah. we're not there yet. Are no, we? it's not. Now, it, it's mm -hmm. either the, the two schools of thought about that. Right. Um, one is the Gordon school of thought, which says actually the gains are are in the past. We actually saw that um, about 10 years ago when the internet really took off and so on. And so the majority of gains were in the past and the easy things have been done, like in manufacturing and so on. It's going to be much more difficult to get the same productivity gains going forward. That's, that's, that's one theory. Mm -hmm. The other theory, which comes from some of our clients who are actually in the business, right. is the rollout is surprisingly slow. Mm -hmm. It takes a long time to actually penetrate organizations, particularly service organizations, and the gains in productivity are down the road. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can take your choice. I tend to think we're in a period where the low productivity is partly a hangover from the bubble economy, mm -hmm. this allocation of assets, zombie corporations, etc. Yeah. And that down the road, the wave of uh, much better productivity gains will come from all these new technologies. But it, it's, it's going to take time, maybe another what, five uh, years. What happens when, uh, mm -hmm. when this anti-trade bias, which is uh, a theme of this year's campaign, comes true and whoever gets elected, you know, and uh, others follow suit and all, the wor all of a sudden barriers go up around the world, free trade packs uh, get uh, completely jettisoned, what happens then? That, uh, that makes things worse, doesn't it? Well, it, uh, it makes things worse if you're trading um, <clears throat> manufactured goods, mm -hmm. no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. But remember, <clears throat> most of the growth that is coming now in world trade is growth you can't see, which is actually in all the things we're discussing. Mm -hmm. It's in the service things, it's in, it's in the, uh, the non-tangibles. Right. And uh, will that be stopped by... Um, you know, trade barriers, I, I don't think so. No. But what will happen will be the process in which it is translated into manufactured goods and then mm -hmm. flows into other economies as right. a benefit. Right. That will be slowed down. 